So welcome to helpyourmath.com. We're going to answer number three. And um, I know we have this weird looking expression, but we can simplify it. So we're going to keep the six as it is. We can keep radical of six as it is. Now we have radical of 30, but 30 itself can be divided into two factors. We can say that 30 is equal to 5 times 6. So I'm going to write radical of 30 as radical of 5 times the radical of 6 over radical of 5. Now I have all multiplications over here. So I am allowed to do what I will usually do when I have a simple integer. I can just simply cross out the 5 over here and cross out the 5 over here. So I will be left with radical of 6 times radical of 6. We know that two radicals are the same number. They will give me a perfect square. So the answer is just simply going to be 6. Thank you.